Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're continuing work on our 2010 Club Car President. Today we're going to be putting on this DD motor, which is specifically designed for this Club Car President, with a lift, big tires, rear seat, and passengers, and gives up and down hills that we just cannot get up and down with our stock motor. This particular one is 11.4 horsepower, where our OEM one is a 3.3. So let's go put this motor on that car and see what we can get done. Okay, we've got the rear body removed from the car so you can actually see what we're going to do. First and foremost, safety first. Make sure you got your jewelry off, rubber gloves on, eye protection. Now, to get started on this, what we're going to do first is put the car into the tow position. Next, we're going to go come back here unplug the speed sensor. Then we're going to remove these first nuts here with a half inch wrench. Now just to make sure that you know where to put them when you're putting your new motor on, you might want to take a picture or label them first. Now the armature nuts are half inch. The field is 7 16. Okay, now we've got our control cables removed. Now we have three bolts that are 7 16 that hold the motor to the transaxle. Now we can remove those. Now don't let the size of this motor fool you. It is very heavy, so be very careful removing it. You should be able to just wiggle it and slide it directly off the splines. As you can see the two motors here, they're side by side. The stock motor's got thin windings, just a standard motor windings. The high speed, there's more of them, and they're thicker. This allow more amperage to flow through. Now, one thing we've got to do is on the old motor, down inside the armature, there is a rubber boot. This little boot gromlet rubber piece, whatever you would like to call it, needs to come out and go inside the new motor. This keeps it quiet, keeps the input shaft from rattle, rattling up against the armature. I'm go over here and clean this up a little bit, put an extremely light coat of grease on it, and then put it down into the new armature. Now, all we gotta do is put our mounting bolts in. Now, to put the mounting bolts in, you wanna scoot the motor back. I've got it back here about 1 8 inch, so that I can put the bolts through the transaxle and line them up with the holes. Get each one started a little bit. I have to shake the motor around a little bit to get you plenty of room. Then once you get all three started, then you can come back and tighten them up. Now for extra support, there is an L bracket on the other underside which line, lines up to a boss. You can put a bolt through there to add extra support. Now to hook up our cables, F1, orange. F2 was blue. Of 
Grain went to A1. White, A2. Now our speed sensor. Now we can tighten these down. Once again, snug them down. Do not over tighten. Well, I hope today's episode, changing out a stock club car motor for an upgraded D&D speed motor was helpful. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.